Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to be smoking uh, some uh, pork butt. I have two whole pork butts. This one I pulled all the skin off of already. I'm going to just pull the skin off this one for you guys. And I'll just kind of fast forward as I do it. All you do, I'll just tell you before, is you just find an edge where, where the skin is connected to the meat. And just start cutting. All right. There you go, all skinned up, ready for a dry rub. So I'm gonna make the dry rub now. So, dry rub is gonna be brown sugar. Some uh, nice kosher salt. Some of my own seasoned salt. Some chili powder. A little cayenne pepper. Now you do this to taste. And I have some dry onions. I'm just going to crush it up real good in my hand. Add that right to it. Now we're going to rub this on this meat and let it sit overnight so these, the sugar and all the spices kind of caramelize in with the meat. So tomorrow morning when we get ready to smoke this, it'll be ready to go. Now I'll just liberally spread this all over. This meat, both sides, top, bottom, everywhere. Yes, all over the place. You don't have to use my rub, you can use whatever your favorite rub is. If you have something you like better than this one, you can certainly use it. But I just like the sweet, the sweet rub. Gives it a nice bark when it comes out of the smoker. And there we go. That's it. They're all pretty much ready to go here. I'll just cover this up with a, some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator overnight. So, it's a nice morning. A little later than I wanted to start. I can see the mountains out there. Right beyond, I have mountains all around the house. So let me show you what I got going now. So as you see, the pork has been uh, was, was uh, in the fridge all night. It's rendered some juice, but it's really nice still. You can see that the, the rub is all on there really good. I got some apple juice here. I'm going to do 50-50 apple juice to water in my smoking liquid. And I am soaking some uh, hickory wood chips. So in a little bit, those will be ready. I woke up late. I wanted to actually start this at dark hundred but ended up sleeping in uh, a three-day weekend I have a little time I slept in I shouldn't have but you know that happens sometimes 
So I'm letting my smoker heat up. As soon as it heats up and the wood chips are done soaking, I'm going to throw everything in the smoker. That's going to be about another 10 minutes. So I got some water. I'm just going to add the apple juice to the water. So I have like a 50 50 mix. And I got my wood pan. Yeah, and this is hickory, by the way. I usually, I only smoke really with hickory and apple wood. Today I don't have any apple wood today, so I'm just smoking a straight hickory today. So fill it up with some hickory. Get this pan in there. And I did uh, preheat, because I got an electric uh, smoker. I preheated my smoker. I'm going to have to get these and just place them right in here. I don't know if I can put one on this. Let me grab my this other one in here too. Close this up. I got them both in there. I'm just going to close this up now. And now I'm not going to mess with it for, I would say, two good hours. I'll just add an apple juice right to this wood chips. So my soaking liquid will be apple juice and wood chips. And I'm not going to mess with this for two hours. So let it sit here. And I'll come back after two, check it, add more chips if necessary. And I'll just show you. This is going to be, you know, smoking this much meat takes, I'll be conservative, uh, I'll say 12 hours, but I could probably do it, it'll probably get done in 10, it'll be up to the meat, not up to, up to me, so hopefully I'll have it ready for uh, late dinner tonight. Zero. Okay, I've had this going for an, two hours now, there's still good smoke coming out the, the back of it and the sides, I'm uh, going right about 220 degrees if you can see the, the thermometer here I'm not even gonna touch it at this point because I still got good smoke so I'm gonna let it come back and check it in an hour see if I still have good smoke and if I need to add chips I will so I'm just gonna keep doing this up until for the four hour mark and then I'll start mopping it at four hours so come back in an hour or two hey guys so we're at the four hour mark I got a mop here. I made it. It just has some apple cider vinegar and uh, some water, a little chili powder, a little uh, cayenne pepper, and a little bit of olive oil just to make, and I made like a little vinaigrette. So I got my mop here. So let me just open this up, check the smoke. I'm going to probably have to add a little more wood to this, but let me just give this a good mop here, give them both a good mop at this. Now the plan with the mop is to mop every hour or so, close the door back up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pair of tongs, I'm going to check the wood, add some more wood chips if I need to, add some more liquid to it if I need to, and uh, continue with the smoking process. Hey guys, it's been six hours. And it's already pulled apart tender. I pulled this bone out uh, without any problems at all. So they're pretty close to done. I'm going to give them one final mop right now and let it go about another half an hour. Whew. So I only have a little mop left anyway, so I'll give it one more good mop. Bottom one here, good mop. Yeah, they're falling apart tender already. I'm going to go like about 15, 20 more minutes and that's about it. If I can just, let me show you. If you can just pull the bones out like this without really any problems at all, that means it's pretty much done. So I'm, I'm thinking they're done. I'm going to let them go just for a few more minutes to cook off the last of that uh, smoke for about 15 more minutes and then I'm going to pull them out.
and they've been in about six hours actually six hours and seven minutes to be exact all right guys so it's been six and a half hours total all total so I'm gonna just pull these out now let's put them on this Let me just bring these in the house and I'm going to let them rest. So I pull them off. They're in the house. I'm going to wrap them in foil really good. I let them rest for about a half an hour before I start pulling them. This will give all the juices that are flowing in there a little time to settle. So I don't want to lose any of the, the liquid that's in the meat. So I'm just going to cover them up and let them rest for about 20 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes. So let's look at this pork. It has a nice bark on it. It's pulling, yeah, it's pulling pretty easy. She just comes right off that bone. Give it a little taste here. It is really good. You can taste the good smoky flavor. And also the the mop, you can taste the, the flavors from the mop and the rub. Yep, it turned out really good. It, it smoked a lot faster than I thought it would. Typically it's an hour per pound and this is 20 pounds so I figured this was going to go at least 10 hours because each, each of these are 10 pounds. And the reason why I did this is this was on sale, I don't know if I said that already, but this was on sale for 99 cents a pound so I couldn't pass it up and I wasn't going to throw them in the freezer so I smoked it up, I'll pull it and then I'll freeze it in Ziploc bags so I can have pulled pork whenever I want it. There you go guys, 20 pounds of pulled pork. I'm gonna just start bagging it up now, but I wanted to show you the, the final product here. Turned out pretty gosh darn good, if I do say so myself. Alright, thanks again for watching guys, God bless.